Hey everyone, my name's Hunter and I'm a diver out of Santa Barbara. When I go diving, I like to take interesting cool videos and uh, I always had this goal in mind of shooting something new. Back in November 2019, I actually got my chance. I was diving off of Anacapa Island with my good buddy Jim Knowlton. We were recording various other sea creatures and off of Cat Rock I noticed this fish, Island Kelpfish, or Alaclinus holderi. I spotted a reef with a dozen or so of these little fish and I noticed two of them fighting. This wasn't like anything I had ever seen before. These fish were actively fighting each other, trying to defend something and I couldn't figure it out. I took this recording to a fish biologist at UCSB, Milton Love. He was just as intrigued as I was. So I got to work on researching this fish, trying to see if we knew anything about it. And lo and behold, there's not much known about this little fish. I got to work researching various related species, trying to see if there was anything in the family that might give clues. Island kelpfish are from the order Bleniformes, more specifically the family Labrosomidae. I was familiar with this order of Bleniformes because it was home to my favorite fish, the sarcastic fringe head, or Neoclinus blanchardi. And this species is known for its aggressive fighting behavior. Many males from this order will actually defend cracks and crevices in the reef as its ideal spawning locations for the females. In a way, this gives the fish with the nicest pad the best chances of mating. Head rearing is common in the family Tryptoririgidae and other Labrosomids. This is done to size up your opponent and possibly deter them from any further attack. Jaw locking is another common trait among Labrosomids and Canopsidae, the family of the sarcastic fringe head. Now comes a more personal observation I've seen. The fish go on to lock their jaws for well over a minute. The gill plates of each of these fish is respirating quite laboriously. I wonder if this jaw locking actually restricts the respiration from the fish on the right. It is only after a while that the aggressor finally breaks free and swims off. Only the victor is left. This is a completely new interaction that's never been documented before. I hope to make more of these discoveries in the future. I wrote a short paper about this interaction with the help of Milton. If you want to give it a read, I'll link it below. Thanks for watching, and keep on swimming.